This video is going to show you how to use the bookmark tool inside your lessons. Okay, so we're going to pretend that I am just finishing up lesson 1.01 .01 and I am done working for the day. So I want to bookmark my place so that the next time I come into this course, it's easy to find where I need to start. So this is the last screen of lesson 1.01. .01. So I'm just going to use my arrow to click to the first page of lesson 1.02 because this is where I will be starting the next time I log in. And I'm just going to come up here and click the plus to bookmark this particular page. And you'll notice the circle changed from a plus to a minus and it changed to bookmarked. So it's letting me know that I have bookmarked this page. Okay, so if I click back to pretend like I'm coming in for a brand new day. I know that I'm working in module one, but I don't remember what lesson I'm on. I can click into any of the lessons, come up and click my go to bookmark, and it takes me right to where I bookmarked the last time I was in here working. Okay, now you notice it did change back. So once you've used that bookmark once, you will have to reset the bookmark at the end of that day's working, essentially moving your bookmark from one spot to the next. Um, what is also nice about this, so I'm going to just bookmark this page one more time. If I go to lessons as if I'm starting a brand new day, your child can click into any lesson. For example, I just clicked into module three and we we're working in module one, so we're in a completely different module. I can click go to bookmark and it's going to reroute me back into module one to the lesson that I need to work on next. Okay, so this is how your bookmarking tool works within your lessons.